Hi guys, Ariel with Ariel Paints. The art company Arteza contacted me and asked me to review their 16 color face painting kit. So I'm going to do that for you guys today. I'm going to go through all the pros and cons, tell you exactly what I think this kit would be really, really good for and what it might not be good for. So if you're looking for a starter kit, then stay tuned and I will go through all of that. Also, do click the link below for a direct link to this palette as well as Arteza is offering a 10% off code to my viewers. So that's something that's pretty good right before Halloween. So if this kit sounds like it's gonna meet all of your needs, then go ahead and take advantage of that and get it. Um, also, Arteza has launched sites for the UK, Germany, and Spain. So this kit should be readily available to you guys. They've had a US site for quite some time. So stay tuned and I will go through all you need to know about the Arteza 16 color face painting kit. Okay, so first things first, the quality of the paint. It is water-based paint, which is wonderful. If you are a new face painter or you're doing this for Halloween or something, you do not want that stage makeup waxy paint. You want water-based, so that's great. It's paraben-free, non-toxic, and that it's water-based does mean it's easy to remove. So soap and water and it's gone. So that is awesome. Now, the other important thing is how the paint works. The quality is very good. It is the first thing that I test. I did the unicorn test right here, which means I painted a unicorn. So I also used the two brushes that come in the kit to do that because I just wanted to challenge myself and use them. They worked really well. So um, I used the two brushes to do that. I tried to use just about every color to test it. It is good quality paint, uh, very pigmented, and a lot of the colors are very opaque. So everything that I wanted to see to give this palette a thumbs up on that end were there. I did. So while we're on a positive note, let's go ahead and go into the pros of this palette. One pro is the hard shell. It is nice to have a hard case because it means it's easy to travel with, you can close it easily, seal everything up and throw it in a backpack or a suitcase if you're going someplace. So that is a pro. So another pro of this palette are the removable pans. So once you plop open the lid, you're gonna see the 16 colors, which is a nice variety of colors, and then each pan has a lid on it that you can remove but the pan comes out. Why that's important is if you are taking this to an event where you're sharing paint or you wanna hold something in paint, you can do that and you're not restricted to always going back to the palette. Another pro are all the colors you get. For the price point of this palette, you get a lot of colors. You get the basic primary colors and you get a good amount of secondary colors. There's a lot of starter kits out there that just have primary colors or have primary colors and one secondary color like pink. And you just don't have as much variety with that. You can't do as much with it. So this palette gives you a really nice range of colors so that you can do a lot of different things with it. Another pro to this palette is the fact that it comes with stencils. It comes with a variety of different stencils. You can see that I used the Snowflake one already because it's got white paint on it. And this is just really helpful when you are doing Halloween designs for your kids or you're doing a fair or whatever it might be. Having stencils is a huge plus. It also comes with some temporary tattoos. So that's just a really nice bonus that you get with this palette. I don't have a lot of cons for this palette, but one con would be that the pans might be removable, but they're small. So if you have designs where you wanna do a lot of sponge work, getting a sponge into a pan this size can be a little difficult. If I knew that every single design I wanted to do was sponge work, this probably wouldn't be the first palette I picked. So this one is kind of a mix. It's a pro that you get these little brushes. So they're kind of in the pan here. I will dig them out. You get two brushes that I would, see if my camera will focus on them. I would compare them to craft brushes. There's nothing special about these brushes, but you do get them. So it's a, it's a pro that you get them. It's a con that you just get two brushes that you probably can't do a lot with. I did paint that unicorn mainly with these two brushes because I wanted to try them. But if you're gonna do a multitude of different designs, you're gonna wanna go into your craft kit and grab a few other brushes. Not a big deal, but still kind of on the fence of being a pro and a con. Now the frozen mask that I did that you'll see in the thumbnail of this video, 
I did with my craft brushes because I wanted to make sure that the paint worked well with the design that I do on a regular basis and it worked. I also used that stencil I mentioned in that um, trial and it also worked really well. I was able to get a sponge in there and sponge on my snowflake stencil. So this is a workable usable kit but you're gonna have to probably grab a couple other brushes to do a variety of designs. Okay so the most important thing what would this palette be good for? I think it would be great for small private birthday parties. So if I was the mom and I wanted, you know, I'm really artistically inclined and I want to paint the kids' faces at the birthday party. Great palette for that. Has everything that I need to do that and I'm not going out and getting a lot of other external supplies. It would also be a really good palette for any kind of private events where you have volunteers that are face painting. I have seen volunteers face painting at events with like those stick face painting sticks. I don't even know what they are. Those don't work. Don't give those to your volunteers. At least give them something they can work with. So if it's the church carnival, if it's school fun night, or you know some family event where you have a couple artistically inclined teenagers or parents that are willing to face paint, at least give them something like this that is workable and they can use. So for that, it would be perfect. So this also would be a really, really good starter kit. I get asked all the time, what should I start face painting with? I don't think this would be good to start face painting at like a paid per face event. You know, don't go get hired for something and get this and take it to paint a thousand kids. That is not what this kit is for. But if you've always wanted to try face painting and you just want a kit that has a little bit of everything in it, it's got some stencils, it's got paint, it's got a couple brushes, and you can start painting your kids, start painting yourself, and see if face paint is something you wanna do, this would be a wonderful kit for that. So I highly recommend it for that. Also, those of you who are watching this channel and have been watching this channel for a while, you're probably already a professional face painter. And this would be a pretty awesome travel kit. So I took a kit with me to Paris um, a few months ago. And if I would have had this, I would have just brought this instead. The paint is good quality. It would be all there, everything I need, and it would have slipped right into my suitcase. So as a travel kit, definitely like the idea of this for a travel kit. Now, what I think this kit would be absolutely best for, Halloween. We all want to paint our kid's face for Halloween to make the Ninja Turtle costume look that much cooler or to add the frozen crown or whatever it may be. This kit, perfect. It's affordable. You get the extra help with the stencils, the brushes, and the tattoos. So I think it would be absolutely ideal for Halloween. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped and I hope you guys will try this. Um, I do want to mention that Arteza did send this to me for free to try for you guys and review. I did tell them that I would be very honest about my review and I warned them if I didn't like it, it wouldn't be positive. They were perfectly fine with that, which was the first good sign. And I am really happy with this kit. It's a really, really nice kit, good quality face paint. The people at Arteza so far that I've worked with are wonderful. So all of those are good signs. So don't forget to check the description box below. And if you do click on the link, I do get a commission from that. So if you're a longtime viewer or you're just starting out, I wanna thank you for your support and wanna be clear that if you're clicking the link below, I am an affiliate with Arteza. So I will get a commission off of that sale. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I always, always, always answer all of my subscribers. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click the bell to get notifications, like this video. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments and I will absolutely answer you guys. Thanks so much for watching and have an awesome Halloween and have fun with an Arteza palette.